Welcome, dear tourists, to the beautiful city of Taif, Saudi Arabia. Our journey begins at the magnificent Shaba Palace, a historic site that dates back to the late 19th century. This impressive palace was once the summer residence of King Abdulaziz, the founder of modern Saudi Arabia. Take a stroll through the lush gardens, and you might catch a glimpse of the peacocks strutting around, feeling like they own the place. Next up, we'll head to the Taif Regional Museum, a treasure trove of history and culture. Inside, you'll find a fascinating collection of artifacts that showcase the rich heritage of the region. From ancient pottery to traditional garments, the museum offers a glimpse into Taif's past like no other. And hey, don't forget to snap some selfies with the friendly museum staff. They'll happily pose with you and share a funny anecdote or two. Feeling a bit parched after all that history? No worries, because we'll make our way to the Al Radaf Park. This lush oasis is a perfect spot to relax and unwind. Take a leisurely stroll along the walking trails, and if you're lucky, you might find some locals enjoying a traditional tea ceremony under the shade of the palm trees. And speaking of tea, did you hear about the tea loving camel? He could brew a mean couple with just a humpful of leaves. Okay, okay, I'll stick to guiding. Now, it's time for some excitement as we make our way to the Shafa Mountain. Buckle up, folks, because we're taking a thrilling cable car ride to the top. As we ascend, you'll be treated to breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding landscape. Oh, and don't worry if you hear some screams, it's just me getting a bit carried away with excitement. The Shafa Mountain has been a favorite escape for locals and tourists alike, and once you're up there, you'll understand why. But hey, our adventure doesn't stop there. Time to visit the legendary Suk Okas where history and commerce come alive. In ancient times, this market was a hub for poets, traders, and storytellers. It's like stepping into a time machine, except you won't find any vending machines selling dates from the past. Try your bargaining skills with the friendly vendors, and they might share some jokes of their own, though their comedic timing might be as old as the sook itself. Our final destination is the King Fahad Garden, a true oasis in the desert. Here, you can revel in the beauty of the colorful flowers, relax by the tranquil fountains, and enjoy a delightful picnic with your newfound friends. Oh, and don't forget to try some of the local delicacies like jerish or hares. Just a heads up, though, eating too much might make you roll down the hills like a date downhill race. I hope you've had a memorable journey through Tafe today. From its historical treasures to its natural wonders, this city has so much to offer. As we say goodbye, remember that TAFE will always welcome you back with open arms, big smiles, and of course, a joke or two to brighten your day. Safe travels and come back soon.